hello and welcome to the second video in this series so in the last video we had gone through how we can set up our raspberry pi in the first boot and in this video we are going to demonstrate how we can run an object detection model in our raspberry pi so let's see so this one is the raspberry pi that we had configured in our last video so for detecting an object we need to get the video first so for getting the video we are going to use one camera module that is raspberry pi camera module 3 for in this for our video and this is the camera module and the cable that will be required for connecting the camera module to our raspberry pi so this camera here is a 12 megapixel camera from raspberry pi the sensor is sony imx708 and it has a field of view of 120 degree with no infrared filtering so this comes in very handy when we have to do some low light tasks okay so i'm going to quickly show you how we can connect this camera to our raspberry pi so for connecting the camera module we need to first connect the fpc cable with our camera module so the camera module cable the cable will have one golden side that is the connector side we have to face that side to the pcb of our uh, camera module so in this case i have inserted the cable and then gently pressed down the clips so this will fix the cable to the camera module so now we have to fix the cable to the camera 0 port or cam 0 slash disk 0 so for connecting the cable with our raspberry pi the procedure is same we have to face the connector side the golden side of the cable to opposite to the clips of the uh, connector so i'll just quickly insert the cable inside the display uh, camera slash display port and then i'll just gently press down those clips from both the sides and that would fix them so as you can see the connector is connected properly you can see it is properly connected now we have to verify the connection so for that i am going to quickly open the raspberry pi's home screen and check if the connection is okay so for checking the connection i'll first log in to the raspberry pi using vnc viewer and here is the home screen i'll open the terminal window and here i'll type a command to verify if the connection is okay the command is rpycam hyphen hello so this will open the camera yeah you can see the camera is working properly and you can close this window so for performing object detection task using our raspberry pi we need to prepare it for the task and for that we need to uh, go through some instructions so i have prepared the set of instructions in a github repository and i'll be sharing that repository with you guys uh, in the description please check that out and uh, i'm going to follow that uh, instruction step by step in front of you so you can see that works so here is the repository the raspberry pi underscore detection so you have to clone this repository and follow the steps so first i'll clone this repository using the command git clone and then the repository url so i'll co copy this and i'll paste it here so and press the enter so it will just uh, clone the repository in this folder uh, it will be easier if you can uh, create a separate folder for all your projects uh, in general it will help managing all those projects 
you can see uh, these are the files inside the repository that we had copied from the cloud and there are mainly two files one is for the Pi camera module and one is for USB camera so when we are using the Pi camera module we are going to use the first one and if you we are uh, going to use one USB camera like any webcam or something like that we are going to use the second one so then we are going to do some uh, update command sudo apt update and sudo apt update so this might take some time so i'll just skip this part and move to the next part so as you can see the sudo apt upgrade is done so we're going to move to the next command that is we have to install one library called pi camera 2 that will help us in using the camera inside our code okay so in my case that module is already installed so in your case it might take some time to install it install it accordingly and then we are going to install uh, not install we are going to create one uh, virtual environment using the flag system site packages so this will help in binding the device level uh, native modules for using the uh, camera module in our code make sure to use this flag otherwise the code will not run the camera will cannot be accessed so i'll just activate it using the command source and then the path to activate then i'll just install the requirements by running this command pip install minus r requirements.txt this will install all the requirements required files libraries and everything that we need to run these two codes so this might take some time and just hang tight and let the installation be done so as you can see the installation is done and we are going to now run the code so running the code you have to just type in python then basic underscore pi camera 2 underscore all dot pi so and hit enter this will run the code and you might come up with an error like this uh, this particular error is for numpy version greater than 2.0 so we just have to downgrade the version to less than 2.0 for numpy so for, the, for that command is pip install and inside inverted commas numpy less than 2.0 so this will install the lower version of numpy uh, probably numpy 1.26.4 and now you can just run the code again yeah you can see then it initiated the camera and you can see the open cv window here and these are the rejections so it can detect me as a person and it has drawn a bounding box around me and it is also detecting the laptop and in the corner also there is the fps if we are getting around 7 fps you can see the bounding box is increasing and decreasing as my hand moves so it is a pretty robust detection and this is it this is how you can run any object detection model any lightweight object detection model inside raspberry pi and if you have any problem doing this demo or following the steps along then you can just comment down below or you can reach out to us anytime we'll be happy to help thank you